Yeah, obviously very disappointed. Um, it's one of those things. Um, and didn't play well from the word go. So haven't played test match for 27 months. Players had only been in the country four days. Um, so obviously there's things that need to be done better um, to prepare for a test match and be expecting to compete. So um, disappointing all around, but you know, the, the, the players, there were some uh, slight um, moments of, of good cricket from us, but not enough and not consistent enough. I think it's more the case of the opposition playing pretty well and, and being very consistent in what they're doing, bowling line and lens, bowling the line and lens that we were trying to achieve, but just weren't able to do so. And also batsmen batting for a, a, a moment of time, uh, or sorry, an amount of time, where our batsmen, I think our longest innings was 70 odd balls by Raman Shah. So um, a batsman to go on and get 200s in the same game is a good example of what's needed in test cricket, the standard. Um, and I thought their spinners were accurate as well, as opposed to our spinners were not accurate enough. That's what happens. How do you rate Bangladesh's I think it's pretty good. You know, good. Good pace. Um, and we'll be able to compete at home and away with, with the types of seam bowlers that they've got. Um, also with the spin, the accurate spin bowlers. They know how to play in their own conditions really well. Um, so uh, credit to them. Ideally, I think we would have, it would have been nice if we could have played a warm-up match. You know, we were in Sri Lanka playing ODIs and half the team um, were, were obviously back in Afghanistan prepping but hadn't played a first-class game for, for a long time. So it would have been nice to be able to come to Bangladesh had the time to, uh, to, to train um, and play a match. We were supposed to play, um, there was a series against India that was supposed to be played but that got cancelled. Um, which meant that we sort of pushed this a little bit forward and we were supposed to go to India now and then come back for the ODIs and T20. So that then fell through and the schedule was set in stone as it is. So um, unfortunately that's the case and, um, you know, hopefully learn from it. What Afghanistan lacks overall? Pardon? What Afghanistan lacks What? Overall. Uh, lacking in all three disciplines, really. That's the, the, the way you can describe it. Um, and it's unfortunate because it's, it's, it's always good to have a test match um, and play well, but um, not when you perform like that. I think Nijat bowled really well, got five wickets. Um, yeah, he bowled nicely. Other than that, you know, the scorecard, you can't really sugarcoat it. You look at the scorecard, you've got to face facts. Um, you look at the scorecard and, and that says the story, really. I think so. I think the skill level wasn't up to standard. I think more than the fight. I think I agree with you. That needs the resistance needs to be better. The the, the being up for a challenge. The mentality needs to be better, and that's something we're working on. Yeah, I think whenever a person or a player like Rashid Khan is not in your squad, there's always going to be a bit of a gap or a bit of a hole. Um, but I don't think Rashid Khan being here or not being here is a deciding factor on the uh, result. I don't know. I think I think you always want to win. It shouldn't take a test match loss or test series loss to make you more hungry to win a one day series. I think the hunger is there all the time to win whenever the Afghanistan team plays or certainly any team that I coach, the, the hunger needs to be there. So um, it would be nice to come back to Bangladesh, I would say though, to, and, and leave these shores with the ODI and a, a T20 series victory. So do you see more chances in the hmm. I, I don't want to say more chance. I see more experience in a side and a side more put together and an understanding on how to win matches um, in both the formats. Uh, whereas I think with Test Match Cricket, um, that's a bit new to a few of the players and, and a bit of not as much experience. When it comes to winning and losing, winning and losing, you know, winning as much as losing is a habit. 
So, um, you know, we need to start well here in, in Bangladesh with the one days. Good. Thanks.